There is the bus station in Fushui. There's Kitty. There's David. David, what kind of person do you want to sit next to on the bus? Beautiful ladies. Beautiful ladies. <laughs> Must the young lady. Young. <laughs> Good. Pictures of hot girls in China. <laughs> what? Come on. And these guys are like, thank you. Thank you for being so awesome. <laughs> okay, this is Wen Miao. It is a literature temple. <laughs> I think. <laughs> How do you translate Wen Miao? Confucius. Oh, is that Confucius? Can't. Yep, can't go in there? A lot of fruit. Hey, how? Hi. And this is Confucius? Just her one, ma. Hello. Hello. How many? This is a Buddhist temple. That's not Buddha. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> These guys look more like the previous emperors than they do Buddha. Look at this dude. It's like a Dragon Ball Z character. There's another place where the emperors used to live. Pretty nice to get some flowers over here. <laughs> yes, it is. Huh. Let's go in here. Get out of dirt. We can? Yeah. Here's the corn. I think I've heard that in Yunnan, people keep corn out so that some birds can come and they consider the birds to be good luck. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. See, Got some pots with some dirt and cigarettes in there. They're not going to be cooking Am anything anytime soon. I live in such kind of houses. Awesome. <laughs> really awesome. Yes. <laughs> yes. You will never forget it. So nope. in the winter, in winter, we have some, some very, very hot bed yeah, right here. The hot. Because we just like, get, get the thing inside and then, yeah, it's very, very hot. Hmm. Mm. Hot bed. Hot bed, yeah. Here's the baby. You can just kick him around and he'll just go swinging. <laughs> it's the easy way to do it. That's what I'm going to do when I have kids. I'm going to tie a rope up to the thing. That's what you need. No. Never. <laughs> Never. A very pretty lily pond.
，放进去。一、二、哎，大家好。Here is the house that David's father used to live in. I guess nearly before it was built. Here's the countryside. The Nongtun. Wow. Very pretty. <laughs> Check these guys out. Still staring at me. I'm the first foreigner they've seen. Beautiful scenery. <laughs> Countryside in China. Now we're going fishing. David with his pole. Check this out. <laughs> Here's a, a rare, primitive country device. They're gonna stick this thing into the water and electrocute the fish. <laughs> How am I gonna catch them? <laughs> you know, when they said let's go fishing, I thought. Uh, let's go fishing out in the country. I thought they were gonna go fishing out in the country, but oh. well, apparently we're just gonna fry the fish and then take what whatever comes out. <laughs> so there's there's David, the rest of the family back here. I guess trying to catch the electrified fish that float down the stream. <laughs> I've been warned not to wear uh, boots with holes in them because if I do and the water leaks in, then I'm going to get electrocuted too. Take a look at David's bag. David's got a lot of very small fish in there. Good. There are two different kinds of fish inside of this bucket. One is a <laughs> silverish kind and one is a brownish kind of fish. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. I should have gotten a video of me doing it. Ah. Oh yeah, you wanna do it but again? I, no, I'm too <laughs> slow. You said you got a fish. First Chinese disco club I've been to. <laughs> yeah. And there you got the booming music where the people go to dance, I suppose. And if you come in here, you got something called KTV, which is, I think, karaoke TV. Thank you. 